Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Back at it again on Cross Arc Episode 2. Before we get into this episode, I want to take a moment to ask you guys to go back and watch Episode 1 if you haven't seen it already. Quite a few people were telling me that notifications didn't get sent out. Uh, it's a pretty common thing that happens when you take a big break. Channel kind of falls out of favor with the YouTube algorithm and you stop getting as many views. Subscribers stop getting notifications, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, so if you can, if you haven't seen Episode 1 already, please go back, watch that first, and then come back to this one. So the first thing we're going to be doing in today's episode is taming ourselves up a Megatherium just so we can get started running the Swamp Cave and grind out some XP. And then after that, we've got a whole bunch more juicy raids lined up, so it should be another good episode, guys. Stay tuned for that. For now, though, just out here searching for a decent level Megatherium. Yeah, so I found a level 100, guys. I flew all around the Redwoods. I couldn't find anything better, and I'm kind of sick of looking, so we're just going to go ahead and tame this one. All right, there we go. Level 100 in the billboard trap. Um, kind of scuffed, but it gets the job done. Let me just kite this other one off the edge, and then we'll tame it up. Uh, it is a pretty long tame on 1x. I think it's like an hour or something with honey or 40 minutes with honey. Yeah, should be fine. We'll get that done. Tamed up, and then I think my tribe mate's online, so we'll go on a raid instead of leveling up, and then I'll do my leveling up some other time. You guys have seen me run the Swamp Cave so many times by now, I don't think you need to really see it again. There we go, guys. Megatherium is done. We'll take a look at the stats. Again, doesn't really matter. We're just going to run it through the Swamp Cave. Uh, any kind of Megatherium is, like, decently leveled will get the job done. So as I said, I was going to do the Swamp Cave, but a tribe mate came online and we decided we're going to go and raid instead. There's so many bases on the server that we want to raid that we just want to get started with them ASAP. I think it's probably going to be one on the island. There's a couple more stone bases that have turrets and they have a whole lot of teams. So we've just transferred over to the island, guys. We decided we're going to raid the base over here at West 3. Hopefully I don't spawn into turrets because that would kind of suck. I want to apologize if there's any like background noise or whatever. I got my heater turned on pretty high because it is snowing today. It's like fucking two degrees or one degrees over here in Japan. Uh, we safely spawned in, which is nice. So this base, I'm pretty sure it's a stone base. It's got a bunch of turrets on it. They have so many teams that I don't think they actually know about cryopods, which is kind of annoying. It's like a reoccurring thing on these servers. You can't really complain, I guess. We're getting a lot of content out of it, uh, but we're not getting a lot of teams, which is the reason we're actually doing all these raids. We don't want to do any taming unless it's essential. We just want to raid for tames. So you can see their base rendering in now. Look at all the wyverns, guys. They got... Oh, it's a metal base now, I think. It was a stone base yesterday. Uh, they have upgraded to metal, which is kind of nice. Uh, they still only have light autos, as you can see over there. Whole bunch of turrets. They got some boss flags as well, so we might get some element out of it. All right, so the plan is, guys, we're going to run from here all the way under their base to the pillars. Okay, so my tribe mate's on the other side scouting, and apparently it's much easier to go from the other side, so we're just going to do a quick little swim around the base, give you guys a bit of a tour on our way over there. Hopefully we can get into this base. We can't stay too long because we don't have any teams of our own or any strong weapons to kind of fight them. They'll just jump on a mana, they'll jump on a wyvern, they'll just jump on any kind of tame, and we're kind of fucked. So we're going to go in and out. We're going to blow in, we're going to loot as much as we can, and then we're going to get out. Look, from this side we could hide behind the manas and run under the pillar. You run first. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> My flag is scuffed. Okay, ready? Yep. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> Let's go from this side. You blow it, you blow it. I had internals. Baby manners? Oh, they're not cried, fuck. In and out, in and out. Cry fridge. Cryos. Oh, you got cryos? Oh, shit. Watch out for the internal. Oh, nice, nice, nice. We'll look at them later. Wait, uh, I got flame on. Wait, the guy's AFK on the bed. <laughs> Perfect. That was a solid raid, guys. We'll take a look at the, these once we get out. Where, as I said, in and out. We don't want to stay too long. Let me check out the base. Wait. There's another room. Wait, what? Next to us. How do you, can we blow in from here? Yep. Oh, nice. Alright. Ah, oh, it's greenhouse. Alright, there we go, boys. In and out. It helped that the guy was uh, AFK on the bed. <laughs> so lucky for us. Alright, we are going to come back for the vault, guys. It's a pretty juicy base. I think they're actually going to have some stuff. So if we make it back in time with some more C4, we should be able to blow the vault. But yeah, really happy with that raid. Let's go through the cryos while we get taken to a drop. Uh, so we got... Let's check out the wyverns. Uh, fully grown fire wyvern level 55. I don't know why you would raise that. I mean, props to that guy, but still. Uh, fire wyvern 233. Fire's kind of useless, but still. Adolescent. Ooh, poison 228. There we go. But they level damage in it. 
All right, guys, so the guy just came back in the chat. You can see he said, what the fuck, I was AFK. So on Cross Arc, the community's pretty tight. So like, if you come in here and you start raiding people, you're gonna get hunted down by the alphas real fast. So luckily, he actually blamed it on some other guy in chat, which is kind of nice for us. So we're not gonna get hunted just yet. We've got some more time. So we'll keep going through the cryos. What else do we have? We've got Megatheriums, which is kind of unfortunate because I just went and tamed them. Uh, but we've got a few of those. We've got a Tech Quetzal. We've got a Pteranodon. We've got a Tech Raptor. Few Rexes, none of them really good. We've got a Paresa, female Paresa. Uh, kind of shitty as well. A uh, bunch of Wyverns. So, honestly, guys, that's that was a really great raid. Like, quality. Like, that's the kind of stuff you guys can expect from uh, Cross Arc. There's a whole bunch more bases we're going to raid. Uh, for now, we're just waiting on time. We're going to transfer back, and, um, yeah, we'll see where we go from here. All right, guys. So, we're back again. I've actually found something else that I want to raid. Now, I was kind of scouting around on Extinction with the new Tyranodon that we got. It's got really bad stamina. Uh, but it got the job done. I actually found this base. It's not really a base. I don't know what you'd call it. It's very hidden. It's like four vaults that are very hidden. I'll show you guys later on. Before we get to that, though, I need to tame myself up in Arthroplora. So I just went and got some obsidian for the saddle. I spoiled some meat. We're going to head over to Skull Island, tame one of those up, and then use that to bust into the vaults. I'm just looking for my base location at the moment. I always seem to lose it. Here it is. All right, so we're approaching Skull Island. We've got bug repellent. We've got a full set of ghillie. And as I said, if you drop an Arthropleura, I don't actually, I don't know if I said it or not, but if you drop an Arthropleura into the water, it won't actually aggro you and it's a nice easy tame. So that's what we're going to do. That's why we're taming them on center instead of Scorched or Rag. You can just put them straight into the water. All right, so I got a level 85, guys. This will have to do because I'm not waiting around any longer. All right, here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and start feeding the Arthro. So as you can see, if it's underwater, it doesn't actually aggro you. So you just kind of swim next to it and feed it kind of like a bassy, a uh, very slow bassy that doesn't have mantis around it. Just got to watch out for sharks, and then you pretty much chill a nice, easy Arthro tame. Uh, so here's a good example of what goes wrong, guys, when you do this method. Uh, sharks come and attack your Arthropleuras. So we're going to have to find ourselves another Arthropleura, because this one's kind of scuffed now. So I put the recording back on, because this one looks like it's going to complete. This is my third Arthropleura. I lost two of them to sharks, but this one looks fine. There we go. Arthro's tame, level 141. Let's put this thing on passive. Put the saddle on it. Cry it up. Alright, so we're finally over on Extinction, guys. Let me go ahead and show you guys the base. So it's at Sunken Forest Upper. It's on the way down to the big tree base. I'll show you the spot. Um, I forget how I learned about it. Oh, fuck me. What? I pressed Sunken Forest Upper and I spawned into turrets and instantly died. Alright, so I spawned back in, guys. Uh, now we've just got to find out where I actually died. Oh my god, I spawned into their fucking death wall. That is the base spot I was telling you. Hold on. I'll show you. Wait, I do my kit. <laughs> I got my kit back. <laughs> For real? Yeah. All right, so we got extremely lucky, guys. We duped our kit. We got our stuff back and our body is up there as well. All right, so I'm giving up on that body, guys. That's a lost cause. Uh, kind of toxic how you can actually spawn up there, but um, you're nothing you can really do about that, I guess. All right, so continuing on with the mission. So if you want to find the space spot, um, for whatever reason, it's not a good spot because people with eye and eye can actually see through the tree. At least um, that's what I was told. That's how my friend found it and told me about it. So go to the ramp that leads down to Sunken Forest and just follow it down. Uh, just follow it down, keep following it, and you'll see like this tree thing on the right. And it's actually a little rat hole you can live in inside of that tree. You can't actually shoot through the tree. Like it still exists. But, like, people can actually see you with I and I at least. I don't know if it's changed, if it's been nerfed or whatever. Uh, from what I've been told, if you have I and I, you can actually see through the roots of the tree. So come up to the roots of the tree and then uh, just fly on in. It's a little rat hole area. It's pretty big in here. Uh, as you can see, these are the vaults I was talking about. I was just kind of scouting extinction, and this was, like, one of the first places I check. And we found these four vaults with a bunch of metal in the smithy. So I'm hoping for something good, guys. I'm hoping for something good. Maybe they got wiped. Maybe they stored all their loot here. Maybe this is where they farm their element. Who knows? Only one way to find out. In 28 seconds, we're going to break down some vaults. All right, so I was going to whistle it onto the vaults, but the Arthro doesn't want to do that. So it looks like I'm going to be here for quite a while, guys. All right, we're in. Two more hits. Three more hits. Here we go. There's no bags. Oh, there is bag. Okay, let's check the first one. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Rock Drake. <laughs> Rock Golem. There we go. Gas bag. Oh, 21. No fucking way. No Parasaur. Way. Arthro. Another Arthro. Two more. Wait, how much C4? 25. Yeah, Holy 24 C4. 14 rockets. Fucking hell. That's the first one. Okay, let's check this bag. Oh. Sap. Just, uh... The first bag, though. Fucking hell. Rock Drake. Oh, we've got a Snow Owl as well. Oh, this is a fucking jackpot, boys. We actually really needed rock golems. Like, we really needed it. 
Wait, should I throw the parasaur in here, you think? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, 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 we got a parasaur. Let's check it out. Too good to be true. Too good, too good, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Still what got two more vaults. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I was not expecting, like, oh, if they have BPs in the next vault, six. <laughs> I hope so, oh we're fucking goodness, all set I for the wipe. Okay. Yeah, we would. We literally will. What the fuck, Six? That <laughs> Only on cross art, dude. Only on cross art. I don't know. Green Mohawk finds this kind of shit every day. <laughs> dude. That's fucking true. That is true. He's, these two vaults would be full of element if it was a Green Mohawk video. Yeah, one more. I got a bag. Uh... Oh, a turret. <laughs> oh, oh rocket launchers. Yes, yeah, like shotguns, 11 more rockets, flak, fabby, Scantines. riot shields, three riot shields. That fabby's looking very nice. Yeah, let's check this one. Bag. Oh, batteries, some killy. That's still profit. Oh, 71 rockets at the top of that second one. Oh, shit. Okay, nice. Alright, so that was a fucking jackpot, guys. Absolute amazing raid. Got us really set up nicely. Alright, so we're going to put all the loot in the gas bag. We're going to fly that to a drop and transfer it all back to our little base. We really need to move base and expand it because we don't have space for all this stuff. We really need vaults, so we're going to have to grind out level 75 for that. I'm just taking all the useful stuff we can. We got so much crafted flak, which we needed. We would have loved the BPs if we could have got those, but unfortunately... We didn't get them. Grab the ride shields, grab the compos. So many rocket launchers and rockets. Like, oh my god. The rock golems are going to help us as well. We found so many bases. We kept saying all day, like, we should get ourselves a rock golem, but no one could be bothered going out and getting the kibble. Uh, but now we got two rock golems. We've got some nice saddles in our base already from our previous raids. All right, so I'll show you guys what we're taking. Whole bunch of batteries. We got a bunch of flak. We got gilly. We got a bunch of weapons. We got a bunch of rockets. We got 96 rockets from them. Few compound bows, few fabbies, few riot shields. So much fucking loot here. How much C4 did you get from them? Uh, so that's it for the raid, guys. We're going to transfer it out. I'll uh, let you know if we get it back to base or not. I'm going to cut the recording for now. <laughs> so I just want to put the recording on, guys, to show you that I did make it back to base with all of the loot. This is all of the stuff that we got. It's definitely not going to fit in our shitty little base. All right, so I think I'm going to end this episode here, guys. Uh, it was a lot of fun. We got a whole bunch of loot out of those two raids. It's pretty much set us up nicely. We got two rock golems now and a whole bunch of flak and riot. So we can start running bases. We can start soaking bases. All that kind of stuff should start happening from the next episode onwards, assuming nothing goes bad and we don't get wiped or anything like that overnight. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the Conquest series. I'm really enjoying it just raiding bobs again. I don't know why. It's just so much fun to me to actually go into like a community and just start raiding people and become like the enemy. Um, and it kind of reminds me of the olden days of Ark, as I keep on saying. I've gotten quite a few comments as well on episode one of people saying it gave them a bit of nostalgia uh, for the old days. End of the video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode, whenever that may be. Probably in the next couple days or so it should be uploaded.